Good morning, lovely, beautiful people. My name is Katja Kulik. I'm your life coach and I'm here to support you on allowing everything that you wish into your life. Today, I want to share with you uh, about cacao ceremonies that I've taken up recently, um, why I like them, why I think they're important and how to do one. Okay, now a little bit of a pre-story how I started with the cacao ceremonies. It was the 14th of February. It was a beautiful day. It was a Sunday and we were just chilling at home, uh, enjoying um, our day. On the outside, everything was lovely, but on the inside, I was um, really hurting and in a lot of pain because at that time, I knew that someone I really loved was um, literally dying in the hospital. I needed something to support me. And let's face it, we always look for something to support us in the most difficult times of our lives. Those are also the times that we have breakthroughs and the times that we make new decisions to change our lives. I found two things that I really, really enjoyed. One is breath work. I signed up to two workshops and I really loved doing them. And the second one was cacao ceremonies. Now, interestingly enough, I learned about these ceremonies from the first person that I ever talked to about being a life coach. So I felt like it was symbolic. I found this information over and over again until it came and wrapped up the cycle and I decided to do one myself. What is so special about these ceremonies? You basically just make a cup of cacao and you enjoy it. But you enjoy it in a mindful way and you enjoy making it. And when you have a ceremony, you call in the spirit of Mother Cacao and you can ask her questions. For me, it's also like talking to myself, but in a very beautiful and sacred way. So I want to show you all the things that I have for the ceremony that came in from um, a beautiful company in Kiev that I found on Instagram, actually. <laughs> I got cacao. This one is raw, some seasonings. I really don't know what's in here, but there is a lot of cinnamon, that's for sure. And a spinning little thingy to mix it all in. Boil the water, grate some cacao. It's nice to turn on some music. Um, I like different chakra music on, that I find on YouTube. Just chill out. Um, that's why I like doing it so much in the early morning when everyone else is sleeping and I can just relax to this music and enjoy my cacao. Now this brick is about 100 grams uh, heavy. They recommend up to 15 grams to a beginner. So I'm putting it away. So then you put your cacao into the cup. During the ceremony, it doesn't really matter what you put in there. There are different recipes, but it's more about how you feel and what kind of feelings you put into your cup. And just try to remember that uh, you are the one who creates your feelings. And this ceremony is just to get connected to yourself and create more of those beautiful expanded feelings in you. Because it's our brain that always deprives us from our happiness by saying I'm only going to be happy when this or that happens and that's how we just block away the feeling of happiness that is always available to us here and now. Very simple. After everything is in the cup you just pour the water, you mix it in and you make a beautiful intention uh, or you can ask a question to Mother Cacao. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, to hit a like if you enjoyed this video, to comment down below, and also remember to sign up to my newsletter where I share all the immediate insider news and um, the links to my new YouTubes and advice to my Zoom meditation group. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me. I wish you to have beautiful, miraculous mornings every day and you have all the power to create them. This was Katja Kulik, your life coach. And remember, only you decide how bright you shine. See you next time.